Hey guys, my name is Lucas. Today I'm going to be explaining what immunoassays are. I'm going to be explaining this in the same way that I learned it. So let's start with the definition. An immunoassay is a procedure for detecting or measuring specific proteins or other substances through their properties as antigens or antibodies. So in order for us to properly understand the definition, it's best if we jump onto my computer so that we can take a look at how immunoassays actually work the principle and the practical examples. So, see you there soon. Okay, so now to make better sense of the definition and make sense of how the system actually works, I drew you this not so beautiful but functional picture, hopefully at least. And as you can see, the immunoassay work by a three-part complex where you have the analyte, which is whatever we are looking for, an antibody. If you don't know exactly what an antibody is, how it works, just know that it's part of your immune system and that it binds to different biomolecules. And it does this at a place called epitope. Doesn't really matter right now. I will do a, a more in-depth video on that in the future on the antibody and on epitopes. And we also have a label and this allows us to detect the whole complex. So, how does this actually work in practice? Usually you're going to have a well. This is going to be an example of a sandwich ELISA, which is one type of immunoassay, but I'm just going to quickly explain it now so you get an overview of how this works in practice. Uh, on the bottom here, you're going to have one type of antibody, just coated here along the bottom and along the sides. Okay. You get the idea. And uh, then you're going to put your sample in here. You can make that blue, for example, your sample. And in it, you're going to have your different bio biomolecules. You can make them a bit bigger, like this. And these biomolecules are going to start binding to these antibodies. Then you're going to wash away all of the extra. So all of this goes away. Just let me get a razor. Away with all of this. Okay, now it's been deleted. And uh, then you have uh, a secondary antibody. Oh, sorry, my bad. Just a second. Secondary antibody. That comes in. And binds to the analyte, which again is the thing we're looking for. And already beforehand it has been prepared so that there's a label bound to each of these secondary antibodies. And you can see now that since these give out give out a signal, this means that we can actually determine. First of all, if the analyte, the thing we're looking for, the biomolecule, the biomarker we're looking for is present in the sample or not. But not only that, we can also usually detect the quantity of it, meaning the amount with some certainty of the given analyte. So that's a brief overview of how immunoassays work as a principle, this being the principle, and this being an example. This was an example of uh, again of oh i'm sorry i'm sorry of sandwich elisa okay if you have any questions just remember to leave them in the comments and i'll answer them there so now hopefully you have a better idea how immunoassays work now let's quickly discuss why they are so useful and why you should care about them in the first place Immunoassays are used in a wide variety of diagnostic tests and more are being developed all the time. And a test that you might be familiar with is the home pregnancy test, which is one test that uses an immunoassay. Finally, for any sports fans, a lot of anti-doping tests use immunoassays in order to work. So, finally guys, hopefully you now have a better understanding of what immunoassays are, how they actually work, and why they are relevant. Try drawing the three 
most important parts of an immunoassay complex. What are those? I'll wait for five seconds and then I'll tell you. So that's going to be the label, the antibody and the analyte. Okay, guys, I'll see you on the next one. I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, just leave them in the description. I'll answer all of them as best as I can. Thank you very much. Bye.